Warning, this video contains a heavy amount of religious and Christian content. If this offends you in any way, please click away now. What is up guys, Richard One here, welcome to another exciting episode. Now since we're still in the month of October, I think I should cover one of my favorite video games of all time. I'm burning at one of my favorite games of the year. That is, The Binding of Isaac. I would hold the game up, but it's a digital Steam game, so, uh... I'm gonna have to use a PC gaming for once. Roll the gameplay! Just ahead of time, I'm going to warn you, as this story section is going to be long, and it's also heavily filled with Christian content, so you have been warned. The story of The Binding of Isaac is based upon the Christian story of the same name. I'm going to quickly go over the passage because it'll make sense later. As the story goes, God speaks to Abraham telling him to sacrifice his only son, Isaac, up on a hill in the land of Moriah. Abraham then tells his son Isaac to go look for a lamb as a sacrifice. When he turns back, he sees a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. Well, that's something you probably won't learn in Sunday school. In the game The Binding of Isaac, you are greeted with this. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room, away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me. To prove your faith, I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement, hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Now it's up to you to kill your mother and put an end to your sanity. The game was created by indie game developer Edmund McMillan, whom of which created classics such as Super Meat Boy and the upcoming Mugenics. <laughs> Ah, that never gets old. A quick little reference to Edmund McMillan's life can be found in the game if you find the power of such as Guppy's tail and Guppy's head. These are all a reference to McMillan's real life cat. If you're on his website, well, it's under constructions, you'll be greeted with this image. The visual art style which he creates through the game is cute, but the cutscenes between the action makes you feel bad for Isaac. There are six playable characters in The Binding of Isaac, all related to Christian beliefs. Isaac, the main character of the game. Magdalene, known as the Bible as Mary Magdalene, and traveled with Jesus and his disciples. Cain, son of Adam and Eve, the first humans on earth, betrayed God by killing his own brother. Judas, one who betrayed Jesus Christ. Eve, the first female on earth, only to betray God and become the first sinner. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Which, on the wiki, has no background information, so, there. And with the additional Wrath of the Lamb DLC, you have Samson, created by God to defeat the Philistines with his hair as his source of power, being betrayed by a woman who cuts his hair, taking all of his power away, layers to be blinded after revealing his secret. I don't want to bore you guys with a Bible lesson, so let's just jump right into the gameplay. 
gameplay plays similar to Legend of Zelda as you travel from room to room, cellar to cellar. It's like if Gradius and the Legend of Zelda had a kid, then this is it. Don't be fooled as the game is made by Ednick McMillan and is supposed to be ruthless and unforgiving. You have to beat the game a total of 13 times to get all the endings. And as of the week I've had the game, I haven't even beaten one. The game is also never the same as it's randomly generated. Like Minecraft, there are a total of 5 levels or cellars to complete one playthrough. There are bosses as well as many bosses, such as the 7 Deadly Sins and the 4 Horsemen, which is also a biblical reference. There are many collectibles and achievements for all you completionists out there. The music in The Binding of Isaac is catchy and good, and there is a lot of it, unlike my previous review with Luigi's Mansion. The music is created by Danny Bernowski, and he nails it on the epic scale. His music is what you've been hearing throughout this whole review. He makes the easier bosses sound more ruthless than they really are. Just listen. My rating for The Binding of Isaac is 10 out of 10. I did talk more about the story than the gameplay, though I should have gave it greater detail. The Legend of Zelda is one of my favorite games of all time. The exploration, the memorization, and it's fun. I get that same exact feeling when I play The Binding of Isaac. Similar to The Legend of Zelda is that I beat it multiple times. Same goes for Isaac. It's not the story that raised the game up on my scale, it was the gameplay, and that is an important key factor when rating video games. The game is so good that after I bought it on Steam, I bought the additional Wrath of Lamb DLC, and I even bought the soundtrack with it. This has been my review of the Binding of Isaac. I am Retro One and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching another exciting episode of Retro One. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for updates on anything GGEF. If you play Steam, be sure to check out our Steam group. Links will be in the description. Next week for our Retro One's Howling Monthly Reviews will be Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures. I've been anticipating reviewing this game for a while and I'm excited. Sorry I didn't get some of the reviews out that I wanted to, such as Super Godzilla and Batman Forever, but I'll save those for another time. I got caught up on schedule and won't make it this episode. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and Retro One here and I'm signing out.